dysfunctional, disordered, derationalizing collective. The collective is extremely, some Western nations, or some nations of the world, mainly Western. The collective is at war with itself to some degree. Lots of uh, argument and aggression in the public commons, certainly online. Lots of illogicality and uh, profound deception and lying and fraud from you know all those in power. Some of all the institutions in play, whether it's political or media or medical or educational or even the advocacy groups lie to each other and lie to the world and spin, do spin. So a world in which there's decreasing respect for honesty, decreasing authenticity, or increasing perspective that the way to win is to craft the argument effectively to manipulate other people's thinking, <laughs> basically. That we get ahead, I get ahead by our group getting ahead by any means necessary, whatever it takes, which is has no not, not much respect for truth, but how to spin PR, public relations, and spin and strategic communication. In a society like that, that that's a sort of civilizational enemy, deterioration of universal principles, like kindness and honesty, right? In a society that's highly moral, whether religious or not, you know, we, religion is not needed for morality, but a commitment to kindness and honesty, which is green-blue, from a view of indigo, meaning from some kind of spiritual worldview or perspective, one would naturally follow the golden rule, not treat others as you don't want to be treated, treat others as you wish them to treat you. You lie to them and you hurt them, you would feel guilty and regret. So an increasingly shameless society or shameless civilization, shamelessly lying, shamelessly manipulating, shamelessly causing harm to others for one's gain. This is, a, you know, <laughs> Kali Yuga. This is the time of Noah as they say, right, before the flood, before the coming of the Son of Man, the time shall be as the time of Noah. Yeah, like that, right? Global Sodom and Gomorrah, planet Hollywood, fraud and self-centeredness replacing universal values. You know, the, the idea of um, choosing to rule in hell rather than serve in heaven. And so everybody wants to be a ruler. Everybody wants, lots, not everybody, obviously, but lots of people are very much involved in showing dominance or, or uh, certainly online, with online discussion. Everywhere, really. There's a whole lot of it. There are very few people who want to go, who have some sense that, that others know more than me and are more developed than me. There's not much humility in all that, in much of public discourse and the institutions that uh, run societies. The, the profit motive has gone off the charts in many cases. You know, just like Krishnamurti said, it's no sign of mental health or well-being to be adjusted, adapted to a profoundly sick society. That was the case 50 years ago. It's even more so the case today.